Pips and welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Campaign One. Uh, day five. It feels like we've done quite a lot in this hospital, doesn't it? In five days, lots has changed. Um, we still need to reach 80% prestige at the end of the day at emergency. I kind of feel like we did that though, no? Um, so we're in emergency departments. Let's have a look, prestige. It doesn't give us an overall rating though. So it gives us a breakdown patient staff no just overall prestige looks pretty high to me but it doesn't actually give a rate i mean that looks closer to 100 percent to me mind you if anything's bringing it down it's definitely patient satisfaction but i feel maybe each area no it just says prestige right 80 percent prestige i feel like we've done that but we don't have a a percentage actually written here anymore and we used to have that and it seems that we don't have that now um, we do have an overall percentage, oh, high enough, that doesn't seem to be doing it does it? Interesting, maybe it's just the time, maybe we have to go through the night time shift and see how that goes as well, maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, here we are, <clears throat> we have, I finally have, look, changed out all these paper trays for printers, you'll be pleased to see, uh, and we also um, sorted out this waiting room just a little bit um, just to see how things uh, go um, so what's going on in the hospital good question somebody went home look oh yeah so we had lots of people wanting intensive care and bottom line is, is we simply couldn't do it so um, I think there was three of them and they all had to go to uh, different hospitals because we simply didn't have the beds and um, I'm not spending the money to up uh, the intensive care uh, unit sort of business. Shall we do the rounds? We probably should do the rounds. <clears throat> so now, uh, I've forgotten how to do the rounds. And that's totally a thing. Shall we just do all patients? All patients in emergency. Here they are. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll start from the bottom because they haven't got... No, they're, they're actually okay. Right. So let's see here. We are now open for walk-in. And we've got, we've got a couple kicking around, haven't we? Indeed we do. He's on his way out, I would say. They've been dealt with. So these are people that I've, I've actually gone over. They're still in the hospital. That's interesting. I honestly didn't think that they would be. So where is Elizabeth here? Where are you? You're waiting. Should we maybe get a second doctor in? I think I think we will. A second nighttime member of staff uh, in here. Um, and let's see. We don't have loads of money, but it'd be nice to have somebody like this. Um, that has all this advanced diagnosis. They could be late for work. Improve satisfaction of supervised colleagues every morning. Oh, good boss. Uh, okay, why is William Green highlighted green? Can you see that? What? Why is that a thing? I don't know. Because he's uber cheap. Um, extra talent for diagnosis, but this one can do differential treatment right away. Oh, do you know what? We'll get him. We'll get him. It's fine. We'll, we'll see how he, how he pans out. I think that's what we'll do. We'll see how he, how he does. It just means that we can see people just a little bit quicker, process them a little bit faster in the night time as we do seem to be picking up just a couple of extra people right a couple of extra people um we'd really like to not though go through let's do physical i'd i'd like to try and not do the x-ray if possible their cast numbing ointment why oh why oh yeah 
What is happening here? So he's going for the physical examination. He can't do the differential treatment. That's what we, uh, that's what we sacrificed. And then we have this lady here as well. 10 hidden symptoms. 10. My goodness. Oops. What happened there? Boom. We've got it. Um, antibiotics. That, why are you, why are you hospitalizing her? Why? Why? Okay, well, there we are. Still trying to work out what's going on with this lady. Haven't quite worked it out. She's going in for observation. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I don't feel like that went well at all. But, <laughs> fine. Um... Let's see, who else? So we also have walking clinic. Well, that, oh no, that, look, they're all, except this one. Peter Clark, you're still kicking around. Are you, oh my God, you're still waiting for the meds. Uh, the, the labs to do their thing. People are working in here, right? People are working in here. One, I wonder where he is. I wonder where he is. Who's working on the, on this guys? Oh, I see. No. Who are you calling? Peter Clark, him. Yeah, come on, Peter. Will this be the urine one, possibly? I forget which one's which, but they seem to have the petri dishes that for cultivation. Okay. Going to chair. All right. Most people are actually in um, the ward, so God, this guy still. What are you waiting for to get your antifungal ointment? I suppose um, we don't need you on here. So let's have a look. We have you. <coughs> You've been hospitalised. You are having an X-ray to see if we can work out exactly what this is. That's what we need to know. Um, then we have on ICU, four people. This is crazy times, isn't it? Is there enough free nurses to transport the patient? So, right, Jackson, what are we waiting for here? To be waiting to be transported to treatment. Right, which I think probably happens in these rooms. Pretty sure we're okay here. This is general surgery. <coughs> and this would be nurses over here. We have lots of nighttime, we have lots of nighttime nurses. Do you want me to have, get another one? Just for transporting, which means we could go seriously cheap like this one here. Unpleasant though. It's a bit unfortunate. It's a bit unfortunate. Actually, because they were nice and cheap. What about this one? Two hidden traits though. Alcoholism. Do you know it's all right? Because, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> it doesn't sound all right, but it is. It is because they're just going to be transferring patients around. That's it. Do you know what I mean? They don't need anything for that. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> Presuming that th where he wants to be transferred to requires a general s surgery nurse. I mean, we don't actually know that, do we? So, okay. I think we went over these guys uh, towards the end of the last episode. So we probably should just let them carry on doing what they're doing. Oh, look, we did it. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Reach 80% prestige at the end of the day at emergency. 50 grand we got for that. Purchase three ambulances. Let's do it. So to purchase an ambulance, look, we've got a couple here. Now, there is a way of doing this. Is it? Is it? But is it though? <laughs> this one? No, hang on. This one. No, this one. What have I done? This one. Is it this one? 
Purchase ambulances. So it's this little button down here, who would have thunk? Right, okay. A red? Okay. Can I... Is there okay? No? No? Ambulance cannot be... Ambulance can be only placed on ground level. Oh, right. There we go. Oh, look at that. How much was that? I don't even... I didn't even... Oh, my God. How much was that? 35,000 grand. I didn't even check. That was a bit... Objective for insurance company has been completed. Purchase three ambulances. Reward. Increase ambulance patients. I think we do have three per day. I think that's been done. I think we have three per day. It just... um. Or maybe they're just saying that's what I get. I get an extra three. So now we're down to treat 30 patients a day at emergency. Well, that we can definitely do. That we can definitely do. But yeah, we ended up with sort of no money again. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, right. Anywho. So all patients. Uh, we're at general surgery. Sure, okay. We still don't know about this guy. So she just needs numbing ointment, it turns out. Uh, do you know what? We'll give her, as she's hospitalised for some reason, we'll give her all of that. Right. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'll do just the, these ones. So what's happening with you? Fine. Good. I think we're happy. What is happening here? Uh, I don't think we need all of this, quite honestly. No, this this is all fine. Uh, you, you're all good. Brilliant, Jordan Hill. So, uh oh, Peter Clark. What happened there? Did you see that? Right. Oh my God, we've just sent him home. No, no. He's don't go home. Don't go home. Where are you going? Going to... Right. Okay, we managed to hospitalise him. Right. I was about to say, oh my god, don't send him home. He's actually quite ill. I like that he walked himself to the ward, though. Wow. Okay, that, that was a close one, everybody. We almost we almost lost that, that boy. Right, okay. Anyway. Here we go. So we've just had an emergency patient come in. We heard that screeching around. Um, so bit unpleasant you're hospitalized so i'd like to give you m more stuff for all of this you've got a urine test that's that's happening what's happening with you you're, you're okay i'm happy with you and you okay everybody seems fairly okay don't they everyone seems fairly okay uh peter baker here has just walked in um dialysis I'm assuming, hang on a minute, I'm assuming with dialysis, hospitalization required for the treatment is not available. Dialysis, what do you mean the beds aren't available? Required equipment dialysis machine, do I not have that? Hospitalization, right, patient treatment, this is the guy I'm looking at, right? Uh, treatment for patient's diagnosis is not available. Right, okay. I see. It is the fact that we don't have what he needs. Okay, well that's interesting. So, this is general surgery. Right, this is a general surgery thing. If we... What room needs it? Hospitalisation required for the treatment is not available. Uh, check free beds or try a higher that's interesting but this says that the treatment for patients is it just that the beds are full in it could just be that the beds are full okay what if we put him into tc treatment trauma center because we, we have we have beds down here this one right observation room that's the observation room i don't have that which is tc 
Oh, what? We're going to stick him in here? <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. Let's not do that. Um, do we have... Do we not have this available? Hide pen... Well, no, because there, there's no free beds on that part. I happen to know. Um, uh, we go here. No free beds. Oh, hang on. What's this? High dependency unit. Oh, there is. There's space available here. But can we not treat dialysis here? Why is that? If we... Do we have... Is there a machine that we need to put in here? No? No. I wonder... A dialysis machine. Is it part of this? Dialysis machine. Look at that. No, no, look, we have them. We have dialysis machines. Okay, so I'm going to go with the fact that, yeah, it was the very, the ward he was trying to get on. Okay, so we did just change the ward and, and we fixed that problem. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Look at this, though. We have... A hidden symptom at least one that could cause him to collapse so um, that's the thing so maybe we should uh, have a look at these Let's see if we can get this sorted out find out what this is here that would be really good um, wait, I think we'll keep an eye on you Peter quite honestly right so um, yeah, so we've just got Peter here. So going back over this, uh, patients that are coming in. Um, right, well that was a bit of a shame, wasn't it? We didn't, we didn't need to do that, do that test really, or this test either, actually. Uh, too, too much time messing around with Peter. Bed required for examination. Hello. So you need an MRI. You need an MRI. Bed required for examination is occupied or your staff has been busy for a long time. It's a little bit vague, isn't it? So X-ray, I got a feeling that nobody works MRI at night, um, to be honest. Yeah, look, is this, the MRI? is this the MRI? I think this is the MRI, isn't it? Yeah, this is the MRI. So we simply don't have anybody working here at night. The world, we can fix that, right? We can completely and utterly fix this. Look, we've got a night owl here and everything. Resting is much faster. Um, rest levels decrease slower. Wow, they're amazing. Let's get them in. So you can be our nighttime one. There we go. So that will fix that problem, which is wonderful. Okay. Now, let's see. If we, how do we? That's it. Play mode. Good. Uh, we still don't really know what's going on with her. Uh, we don't know what's going on here. Um, but now, uh, there, fine. What's this hazard unknown business? We're fine here. There's nothing to worry about. This is all good. Uh, no highs here. Look, no highs. Uh, no walk-ins. These are all in wards. So that's fine. Let's come back here. No walk-ins, all in the ward. None of them high priority. Okay. All right. Um, just these ones, you know. Where is she? Surely. Who are these people? These guys. Oh, yeah. And this guy as well, who's also ready to go home. Even though he's got his stool sample going through. It's not necessary. It's running smoothly. I think we are getting back to uh, a smooth running after all these all these changes and updates went through and, and whatnot. It's getting just a little bit smoother again. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Right. Hang on. That's all pretty awful. Let's do this. Just some normal physical examinations. Um, that would be good. Also, take the temperature perhaps. 
Oh dear. Okay, I think we'll give them this. So we're whittling it down. Antibiotics, oh, that one might need surgery. Um, we might have to try for the differential. Because we'd like to try and not send her to the labs, right? That's ultimately what we'd like uh, to do here is, is avoid that. So we've got some more people coming in. Six hidden symptoms. One of these could cause Kate Brown here to collapse. Bit nerve-wracking. Bit nerve-wracking. Okay, so what's going on here? Giving us some drugs for some of these symptoms, but we're still trying to actually find out what's wrong with Jennifer here. Uh, so a combination of things it could be. So she's going for differential. There we go, lactose. So we, we're going for uh, a diet modification. That's what we've decided on. Hopefully it's correct. Um, I sure do hope so. Let's uh, do a, a wound closure, a bandage, maybe some emergency care uh, on this lady. Um, and then we have Nancy here. Okay. Could also try differential. Okay numbing ointment essentially might give her a nice wrap as well that might be good where are you going don't go to x-ray that's not necessary okay uh, jane is new into uh, the building three rooms were critical right who who wants to put their money on the stand-ups uh, right so not so bad so it, it is at the moment just Jane here that we're concentrating on although how's this guy going we still haven't found this symptom which is a little bit a little bit worrying so let's see we had three rooms that were critical I'm going to try this one and it's all in this department it's all in the labs all in the labs here they are okay let's have a look at this critical high um yeah okay right uh i don't actually think we've done a day shift yet with these there all the time have we don't think so not yet um but we have now done a night shift and it was critical in bloods so i think i mean how much is a large blood slab right if we were to build um Get rid of this one and do a large 30,000. Right, okay. It's, it, it's actually better, isn't it? To just put in more desks, um, I guess. Yeah. But to do that, where would they go? Look at all this. Look at this stuff. Is this, do we need this? Is this an absolute essential item? If I deleted both of those, are we still okay? I think, I think we are. So, because what I'm thinking, um, what, what are these desks here? These look new to me it's definitely look new um interesting don't they look new i think they do what do we suppose we know we need a desk i'd like to know what this desk is here These are outdoor things. Right, it's like it's changed the room again. I don't know why it's in there. Oh, here. Okay. Like this. Right, do they only need computers? So if I put a computer here and a computer there, 
and then a stool and a stool. Would that actually allow us? Oh my goodness. It would. They only need a computer. So, let's see. I think we should put in another one for the day. Um... Uh, you and another one because they're critical in the day then another one at night you okay and then we've got over here hi hi okay I think because I don't think we've done a full day yet with the additional staff over here um, I think we'll try that I think we'll try that yeah, that's what we'll try. Are you having your examine? No, I thought he was being examined now. It says here, look, abdominal. We need to find out what's going on with this poor guy. This poor guy. So new day, a new day is starting. We want to try and treat 30 patients at emergency. So specifically in this department. Um, that's what we would like to do is try and get a whole bunch of them through here. There's no free beds for Frank Brown. Now, Frank Brown is in this sort of holding place. Shall we shove him on the high dependency unit instead? Is he the one that needs dialysis? He is. That's weird. Uh, let's also give him these, see if we can make him a bit more comfortable. I'm pretty sure Send him to the high dependency unit. Don't send him to regular. There's not enough room there. Take, I think, is that that one? No, he's in observation. I don't want this. Send him here. I don't understand. It's really annoying. Just send him where I'm asking. Uh, right, arm cast. And maybe a nice wrap. Uh, that'd be good. Okay. Uh, oh dear, we've got a bit of hypertension here. This could cause him to crash. Um, blood pressure. Where is he? Okay, but he is hospitalised. So hopefully he'll be okay. We know what it is. We know what it is that's causing it. Um, which, is, which is great. Let's sort him out. Right, the queue is mounting. So we can see here, uh, quickly, let's just double check here. Going home, dealt with, dealt with. Uh, maybe don't go for an x-ray. Have a nice wrap and go home. Thank you. Right, then we have, oh, you're, you're new. You're going home, great. So we have, oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you're going. You see them all flip around. I lost control of what I was doing. Let's get rid of this. Rest. Excellent. Um, I, in fact, I won't do all the extra stuff if I don't need to because I think it'll just take longer to process them. Um, interesting. Maybe we could try and work out what it is with this. Oh, there we go. That, will, that dealt with it. There we go. Good. Next. Uh, going through a physical right now. What's an evaluation? I don't know. It sounds good though. Should we give it a go? <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we give it a go? They've gone. What is this? Patient is collapsing. Yeah. Um, okay. This symptom and heart failure. We sent him home? Are you kidding me right now? No! Sent home. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I wanted to change that back to don't send him home. Oh my god. Well, that was a mistake. Uh, I'd like to not send him home, please. Can we... Um... <laughs> Maybe heart failure. Excessive flatulence. Don't send him home. They're going to send him home, aren't they? Please don't. Please don't do that. Right, insomnia, we don't need this, just that, good. Right, um, what else have we got going on over here? 
Uh, you're in hospital. We don't know which one it is. Let's just try that. I've been hospitalized. So let's, let's go down here. What have we got going on? Let's try the differential to, to, to find out between these two. Um, also, we might do something similar here. Maybe we could do this and this. Yeah. This one's complicated. Look at all this stuff it could be. Let's try our best to stay away from the labs. <gasps> Excuse me, if we can. An interview. Look, we know what it is. So, um, liver medication. You need to be on a different department. I think this one for that. I think that's what we need to do with you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's try a bunch of things here. Okay. What's going on with you? Ooh. That's a long shot. That really is a long shot. Uh, okay. Um, so I think we're happy with those for the moment. Let's have a look at these ones. Um, what have we got going on here? Right, a physical examination and differential. If we can, I'd really quite like that. Uh, that would work for us. We don't know about him yet. Or them. Or them. Them? Okay. Uh, sure. So let's just have another look. Different department. Oh. Still haven't dealt with his hypertension. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Stop all this. And give him these. Like, right now. I don't want him going to ICU because of your incompetence. Right. What do we have happening here? Well, that one looks pretty straightforward. Um, so they're going to need uh, hospitalization so that they can get this and all of that. Good. Um, they're fairly okay. Hopefully we can find this without being too uh, intrusive. Just try and stay away from the labs if we can on that one. This one, hopefully, that'll do it. Hopefully, and we'll see. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Um, right, we've got. Let's get rid of all this. Um, uh, boom, 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 boom. Right, okay. Uh, what is happening? See, look, you've gone to the lab. This is an absolute outrage. We know what's wrong with you. So, oh, actually, don't they need to be hospitalized for that? Yeah, okay. Which means I'm probably going to want all the meds. Them, uh, same deal. Uh -oh. We are going to run out of beds again. Uh, what's happening with you? So we need to close the wound. We've stopped the hemorrhaging. Um, emergency care for these wounds and whatnot. That that would be good. That would be pretty good. I don't know if they need hospitalization for that. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Physical and differential might help us work out what we've got going on here. Uh, we know what's happened here. He needs surgery. So we're going to Again, it's going to have to be hospitalised. I don't think we've got enough beds for all these people, you know. I just don't think we do at all. Um, it's a problem. So these top two, um, how, we, how, how, are we, how are we doing, everybody? You're fine. You're, you're getting it. Okay, great. And then um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Now, look, we have an answer for you. Numbing ointment. That's the answer. Go away. Uh, you. Some drugs. You. Uh, get out of the x-ray queue. Right now. Do you want to cast though? I'm hoping that we. 
yeah, could just do it. Excellent. Okay, this one, no, don't do that. Just give them some antibiotics. That's a really horrible thing to do to somebody. Yeah, it is. Stop that um, and give them antibiotics. Thank you. Okay, don't know what's going on with this person. Look, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. I think I'd like to move them over to here um, and get a UCG. I'd like to do that. That'd be great. And then maybe do a differential after that. That might be nice. Give that a go. I don't like it when they're being sick. So if we could give them that as well, that'd be great. Right. Um, now, an iron deficiency, iron supplements. We don't need to draw their blood. That was unnecessary, everybody. That was completely unnecessary. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, well, I, we've definitely got back into a rhythm, haven't we? We've got two here that are on this department that are going um, through the labs, which I kind of wish that they weren't, but they are. They need to be hospitalized because they need surgery. Why can't we give them the surgery? What's happening? Apparently we can't give them the surgery. They need the surgery. We don't need this. Abdominal surgery. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So if they're going to be in the hospital, might as well give them all those things. So they've been hospitalized. Anybody else here? Oh, look. And there is a whole bunch here. We're just going to go over these. Um, and that one. There we go. Let's have a look at these guys. So again, going through the labs, which is a bit unfortunate. We don't need to do an MRI. So pack it in. Um, maybe we could do a physical examination um, and maybe a differential. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I seem to have already sort of dealt with that. Fantastic. Hopefully they'll work it out. Oh, we've got we've got an answer on this one. Some exercise. There you go. <laughs> um, and we know this one as well. Awesome. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um, but you're going to put them in. Let's let's tranquilize us. There we go. There we go. It's going really well. I think we have finally managed um, to to balance this out again, um, and we will definitely reach our thirty patients. I would say um, if we came here, does it tell us on a day to day basis? Twenty five are we at, and it's lunchtime amazing thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via patreon the cooler you are the harder i work which means even more shizwa